So, you want to know more about certifications in cybersecurity? Well, that's exactly what I'm going through in today's video. I'll be discussing some of the beginner certifications by the vendor ISC Squared. Now, get ready, it's quite a mouthful, but it stands for International Information System Security Certification Consortium. So, you can see why it's easier saying ISC Squared. But this video it will be part of a series where I go through different vendors and what certifications they provide for beginners. I've already made the previous videos for CompTIA and GX, so if you need to check those out, there's the banner above which you can click or you can watch it after this video and it will be placed right there at the end. So now let's get on with the video and look at ISC squared certifications. So the first one that we have up is CC, which stands for Certified in Cybersecurity. Now this certification is fairly new, it's only come about just recently at the time of recording this video and essentially it's a foundational cybersecurity certification designed to help recipients build a pathway to a career in cybersecurity. This certification is more of an entry level certification and will prove to employers that you have the foundational knowledge, skills and abilities necessary for junior level cybersecurity roles. So that shows that it's relevant for either current IT professionals, people looking either to transition into cybersecurity or college students or recent graduates. So if you're one of those, if you're considering a pathway into cybersecurity or you're already working in IT, but it's not really that cybersecurity focus, this might be a certification that's quite relevant for yourself. Then looking at the exam itself, it contains 100 multiple choice test items in a standard linear exam format. And there are two hour maximum administration time that's inclusive of all operational breaks and information screens. And you'll have to score at least 700 out of a thousand points to pass the exam. So now that you know what the exam is, let's look at what exactly is covered when going through this material. So there are five domains covered within this exam, which are all weighted differently. There is a link in the description below if you'd like to know the exact weights. However, we're going to skim over the topics here just so you get a brief outline of what's included. First up, we have security principles. This includes topics such as the risk management process, the governance processes, and the security concepts of information assurance. Then we have business continuity, disaster recovery, and incident response. So what that includes is looking at these three topics and determining their purpose, importance, and what the components exactly are within each different ones. And then we have access control concepts. So that will be to understand physical and logical access controls, such as least privilege and segregation of duties. Then we have network security, which is, I would say, quite an important one, which is where you will understand network threats and attacks and network security infrastructure. So you'll see types of threats, such as a DDoS attack and how to prevent them. And then finally, we have security operations. So that will look at data security, which includes things like encryption, system hardening, and security best practices. So of course, each topic holds its own importance and its own right of being there. But like I said, they will be weighted differently. So do check that out definitely and see which topics you are specifically interested in, in determining whether it's a certification that's right for you and your career. Then the other certification which I want to compare this with is SSCP, which is System Security Certified Practitioner. This certification demonstrates that you have the advanced technical skills and knowledge to implement, monitor and administer IT infrastructure. Looking at this certification, we'll look at it in the same method as we just did for the CC exam. So in terms of who it's ideal for, I would look at probably saying it's people or professionals that are responsible for the hands-on operational security of an organization's critical assets, including those in the following positions, which you can see on my screen. So security analysts, systems engineers, security administrators, and the likes of. So if you're one of those, or you're thinking of going into one of those roles, this is a certification that I would heavily consider that you would go for and sit. However, it's worth to mention here that unlike the CC certification, which requires no experience or no previous cybersecurity experience, the SSCP exam does. So candidates must have a minimum of one year cumulative work experience in one or more of the seven domains which they outline on their website. So do definitely check that out if you're not sure if you meet that criteria. 
However, there are two points worth to mention after this also, as if you have a degree, either bachelor's or master's in cybersecurity, then you may be able to uh, bypass that one year at work experience. However, it's definitely worth checking. And also, if you don't have that work experience, you may become an associate of ISC squared by successfully passing the SSC examination and then you will have two years to earn that one year required work experience so there are ways around this if you don't have it already and you do want to sit it so it's not something that you should be put off by now in terms of the exam itself so it is a four hour exam which will contain 150 multiple choice questions and you will need 700 out of a thousand points to pass the exam itself now that hopefully that all makes sense, we will now go on to the topics covered within the certification so you can understand if it's right for you. So the SSCP, as I've already mentioned, contains seven domains, which will then again be weighted differently, just like the CC certification. For the exact weightings, please do check out their website. So the first up one that we have is security operations and administration. So this is where you will learn security concepts and how to identify and implement security controls, which then leads on to access controls, which is where you will learn to implement and maintain authentication methods such as multi-factor authentication and support internet network trust architectures such as zero trust methods. And then we have risk identification, monitoring and analysis, which is where you will understand legal and regulatory concerns and learn how to operate and monitor security platforms such as log management and then analyze the results. And then we have incident response and recovery, which is where you will learn to support the incident response lifecycle. You'll learn about different stages such as preparation, detection and eradication, and then also look at supporting forensic investigations. And then the next domain of cryptography, which is where you will learn to understand and apply cryptography. So you'll learn about things such as salting and hashing types of cryptographic attacks. And then we have network and communication security, which is where you will learn fundamental concepts of networking and networking attacks. So pretty similar to the CC certification in that sense. And then we have systems and application security which is where you will learn to implement and operate endpoint device security, understand and configure cloud security, and operate and maintain secure virtual environments. So that's it for the domains for SSCP. Now you can see that we've covered CC and SSCP. So where do you go from here? Well, after watching this, you should be able to now see a clear difference in terms of what you'll be learning and how wide the knowledge spreads in both certifications. Therefore, what you know already and what stage you're at in your career will definitely help determine which one you actually go for, as the differences such as SSCP requiring experience will then either determine whether you go for it or not. However, it is also worth mentioning that by the time of recording this video, ISC Squared currently have a campaign on where they are offering the CC certification for free. So if you are watching this at the time of recording this, then do definitely check that out. I will put the link below in the description. Please do leave a like on the video as it massively helps it out and it does tell me that you're enjoying the content. And if you have any questions, either head over to my Instagram or do ask me down below in the comment section.